Welcome back to the Creative Space Podcast. My name is CS Visuals, the host, and today we will be diving into episode four and talking about being a creative and an entrepreneur in general. So stay tuned and thank you for tuning in to episode four. So before we get started, um, I just wanted to check in with you guys, let you know how my week was. Um, So this week I had a pretty busy week. I had a lot of uh, doctor's appointments. I had a dentist appointment on Monday. Um, Tuesday I had physical therapy. Wednesday I was supposed to go see the doctor at U of M, um, but they canceled. so that was a little frustrating. And then Thursday I had got um, two root canals started. And then Friday I started um, counseling. So that was a good um, a highlight of my week this week, I would say, was starting counseling on Friday. Um, just to be able to kind of have that outlet again. And... Yeah, although I didn't get to see my doctor at U of M, and I'm still in pain, um, hopefully some of those uh, things will get moving quicker, and I'll be able to get seen sooner, so, but yeah, overall, it was a pretty, pretty busy week, a pretty productive week, I shot another video for um, JTV, so that was good, and I also... Um, took photos at the game as well and got my first um, album published with them so that was a highlight of this week but yeah um, let me know how your guys' week was in the comments Um, but yeah let's dive into episode 4 this week I kind of want to just touch on a couple ways that I myself see myself as a creative Um, and an artist and an entrepreneur and kind of just what some of these things mean to me Um, and I'd like to know what uh, other artists and creators think and view as themselves as well so go ahead and uh, comment and you know let me know what being a creative means to you but here is what being a creative and an artist means to me so I'm gonna just touch on um, a couple of these bullet points real quick and then we'll go ahead and break down each of those so um drawing photography videography poetry music engineering okay so those are all things that I like to do as a creative and as an artist and I'm gonna break down those things so drawing in high school I always liked to draw um art was one of my favorite classes and I also like to um I also like to record like sports um in high school as well so that's kind of like where my creative spark kind of started in high school was um video videotaping uh sport events and um i loved art in school so that's kind of where i got my foundation of being a creative and then it expanded into the photography um when i moved to college when i moved away to college i kind of got into um photography a bit more i would walk around campus and i would just kind of take pictures with my phone and then eventually it led to um me getting a camera and i would take pictures around campus still and then people would notice me taking pictures and then they would want pictures of them and then i just started going to events and taking pictures and that led to me getting a better camera and with that led into me being a video videographer and I started doing uh, music videos. I started doing recap events for uh, organizations on campus at Western, and that's kind of where I got my spark. Um, 
my spark as a um, videographer and a photographer was kind of just, you know, always having, I've, I've always had a creative mindset. I've always questioned why things were the way they were, or I've always looked at things from a different point of view. So I feel like that's kind of a way to explain how I think as a creative and also kind of like to explain how I got started as an entrepreneur as well. I found myself surrounding myself around other entrepreneurs and creatives and like-minded individuals. And that's when I took a leap of faith to start my own business with photography and videography. And with being around other creative like-minded individuals and entrepreneurs that also kind of pushed me to pursue different avenues of being a creative and being an artist in general and it's pushed me to you know into where before i would write poems now i can write songs and i'm working on maybe eventually being an artist myself i have recorded songs but i haven't put any out because one i i don't have i don't feel like i have the confidence right now because i'm still working through healing and getting my teeth together and if i'm going to start putting out music and being in front of the camera i want to make sure that you know that i look good and my confidence is back so i feel like through this podcast and putting out content on TikTok and being active on social media that will help my confidence and then I will be able to eventually put out music but yeah um to go back on like the entrepreneur side of things like I feel like everything that I do I try to look at it from a creative lens everything that I do from the time I get up to the time I go to sleep I feel like I try to think like, okay, how would, how would I film this? How would I frame this shot? If this were a scene in a movie, how would I want it to look? And then I also, you know, kind of like, I don't know, like I just, I listen to a lot of podcasts and uh, beats and you know songs throughout my day and I, I just feel like I'm always thinking of ways to create I'm always thinking of ways to make money I'm always thinking of how can I how can I use my creativeness to make myself money can I make a, a flyer on Photoshop? Can I make a t-shirt on the cricket? You know what I mean? Can I do an Instagram reel? Can I do a music video? Can I do a photo shoot? Can I do a wedding? Like, I want to be as versatile as it is. Can I write a song? Can I write a verse? Can I write a hook? I want to be able to answer yes to every single box somebody if somebody's offering me a a job or an offer to to come be a part of their production company i want them to be able to check off every box on there and i want to be as versatile as i can be i want people to know my worth just like i know my worth and i feel like I'm just blessed to be alive still and I'm thankful to be able to still create. I love being able to create and give back to the community and to just express myself through different forms of art and I'm excited to start recording more music and putting out my music eventually because everything that I have been through you can feel in my songs so I'm excited for to be able to show 
a different side of me and a creative another creative side of me and I'm excited to see what what doors that opens as as I start to drop more music as well so as a um as a content creator and a creative I want to be more active this year in 2023 and just be consistent I want to be known for a lot of different things. I want to be versatile. I want to, by the end of the year, I want people to know my face and know my channel and my work. And I want them to know that I'm I'm serious, I'm consistent, and I'm coming for everything I deserve. I'm coming for everything I deserve, regardless of the highs and lows and all the obstacles I've had to come overcome. I want people to know that I'm coming and I'm still hungry. Regardless of the hiccups I'm going through, I'm hungry and I still want everything that I once did. I'm just coming for it twice as hard now. All right, well, that wraps up episode four of the Creative Space Podcast. Thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for episode five next week. I appreciate you guys. Have a blessed and lovely week and take care of yourself.